Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc, sitting here on my front porch. I have a couple of things I want to talk to you about today. But first of all, because I realize that not everyone is going to watch this video all the way to the end, there's an announcement I want to go ahead and get out there. If you're signed up to receive my emails, and if you're not receiving my emails, I'm not talking about the emails sent by YouTube, but I'm talking about the emails sent directly from me, from my ma mailing list that you sign up for on my website. If you're not receiving my emails, there's a good chance that you are dropped from the list. And please, I ask you to go back to my website and sign up again. If you are already on the list, it will tell you. It won't let you sign up twice, so you won't be getting two emails. So if you're already on the list, no harm will be done. It'll just say that you are already subscribed. But in case you were dropped from the list, it'll put you back on the list. Now, I don't share my emails with anyone. You'll never get any spam. I try not to abuse uh, this service. Uh, the purpose for my emails is so that I can stay in contact with my viewers, uh, especially considering that they're making, taking a lot of steps to censor the internet. I've had uh, censors, censorship of my uh, YouTube videos. I've had censorship of my uh, um, blog. I've had censorship of uh, my Twitter account. And so I, I figure email is the, is the best way. They're, they can still censor email, but they cannot as easily drop you from my email list as they can from my Twitter, which uh, they've been dropping people from my Twitter uh, account. All right, so this is just a way that I can stay in contact with you if, uh, if, they, if they shut down uh, my website or shut down my YouTube channel. Uh, so like I said, I try not to abuse this service. I just send out very important uh, messages, generally maybe one message a week. Uh, so please, if you're, if you're interested, get on that uh, mailing list. You go to my website, thenewsurvivalist.com, and at the top, click on Join My Mailing List and uh, submit your name and email address. Okay, how did uh, these email addresses get dropped from my list? Well, if you, have, if you use a Gmail email or a Yahoo.com email, and there are some others too, but those are the two big ones, all right, these services have a, a a spam blocking feature where you cannot send more than 60 messages to say a, a gmail.com address uh, and what happens if uh, within an hour's time all right so what happens is if I have uh, a mailing list where I have over a hundred say gmail email addresses and when I send out my, my list, it goes out to all those email addresses very quickly in a short period of time. So as soon as they get number 60, they will stop accepting, Gmail will stop accepting uh, emails from, from me. Yahoo does the same thing, 60, they have a limit of 60. There are, these are two very popular uh, email formats, yahoo.com and gmail.com. All right, and in this video, I'm going to talk about why you should not have a Gmail or Yahoo account. Uh, this is just one reason is because of this so-called feature. And then what happens with my email mailing program is once my mailing program gets hard bounces, gets a certain number of hard bounces from one email address, it drops that address from my mailing list. And I didn't realize, and so I lose that address forever, or until you resubscribe. And I didn't realize that this was happening until all of a sudden I just lost half of my mailing list. And I uh, tried to figure out what was wrong, and I researched the topic, and I found out that that's, that's what was happening. My email program is, will drop your address after a certain number of hard bounces. It receives a hard bounce when your email server rejects it. And Gmail and Yahoo.com are the big, the, the big bad ones. Uh, there are also some others as well. All right, now I'm going to talk about some better email addresses to use in this video. Now, what's wrong with Gmail? All right, Gmail, I like to think of um, Gmail government mail. Gmail, of course, actually stands for Google. But Google is in bed with the government. Google receives millions of dollars from the government for the purpose of spying on you. 
and the, the uh, uh, government has has paid Google to create all these very complicated uh, programs where they uh, they they scan every single thing that you do uh, and put it in a database and I'm um, talking about searches when you do a Google search they make a profile of you uh, depending on what you're searching for say if you're a gun uh, lover and you do a lot of internet searches for topics that are related to guns it makes a profile of that all right and then say you uh, look at uh, anti-government sites um, and other of these what the government is considered radical sites uh, say sites dealing with freedom that's a radical topic these days according to our government um, Google is making a profile of you and they are making that available to the government and the government is paying Google very large amounts of money to write these programs and to give them that information. Yahoo does the same thing and there are other web servers out there that do the same thing and I'm going to give you a couple of uh, alternatives that I recommend today. All right, let's say Google searches. That's one thing you should do is I recommend that you don't do it, at least, is I recommend that you do not use Google searches. All right, there is a very good search uh, page out there. It's called Start Page. Startpage.com. I recommend you use Start Page as your search uh, on the internet. You can set your browser to use Start Page automatically. I don't know what. Uh, uh, search engine your browser is currently set, but your your by default your browser will be set to use a certain uh, search engine. Uh, a lot of times it's Google, uh, but you can change that. Uh, you can change that setting to where you can use whichever search engine you want to, and you can. I have changed my browser to where I use Start Page. Start Page was uh, created by a patriot. All right, the purpose of Start Page is it keeps all of your information, all of your searches private. <clears throat> they will not release the information to anyone, including the government. But the good thing about Start Page is it actually uses Google search. And, and the good thing about that is, uh, let's face it, Google, as evil as they are, Google has the best search database. I mean, they, were, they built it from, with our taxpayer money. Our government gave them to spy on us. So they do have the best database. So you can use their database with Start Page, but Start Page uses a proxy. In other words, when you put a search into Start Page, Start Page searches Google for you. <coughs> Excuse me, and it returns the Google search information to you, but they use a proxy so Google cannot collect information on you. All right, Gmail, Google Mail or government mail. Gmail has admittedly uh, keeps records of, they've admitted that they keep records of the topics that you talk about on your emails. Not just the emails that you send out, but emails that you receive. All right, therefore, and, they, and again, they use this to create a profile of you for the government. All right, <clears throat> and so even though I wouldn't use Google, uh, Gmail, when I send an email to your address, if you use a Gmail address, and I send an email to your address, they actually create a profile of me. All right, and they uh, have uh, computer programs that automatically search for certain keywords, like they'll look for words like guns or look for supposedly terrorist uh, keywords. Of course, we all know who the real terrorists are but they look for um, um, <clears throat> any anti-government. They do uh, keyword searches for people who say um, anti-government uh, uh, remarks <clears throat> and a vast number of other things. But they just create a, pro a profile on you. And um, if you use uh, these services, you're gonna end up, if you're not already on a list, you're gonna end up a list uh, one, of the, one of these days. And, um, and and who knows, you may try to buy an airline ticket and you might not be able to buy one, or you might go try to buy a gun and you're on a no-buy uh, gun list because of uh, some of the uh, anti-government <coughs> things that you've been, uh, you've been doing. So I, I don't recommend Gmail, I don't recommend Yahoo. Yahoo does the same thing too. Let me give you uh, a email address, a free email address service you can use. I use Hushmail, hushmail.com. 
It's a free service. You can get on there and Hushmail will never give anybody your personal information. For one thing, they don't collect personal information, so they don't even have the personal information. You can go to Hushmail.com, you can sign up for a free account. They also have better accounts that you can pay for, but you can get just a basic free account and you do not have to submit any type of personal information to them at all. So you can remain totally anonymous, anonymous with that email. Using Hushmail, using Start Page, or you can start making uh, these uh, uh, databases that they're creating on us. You can start make, making them. Why make it easy for the government to track us? But so not only is there the problem with Gmail, like I mentioned, uh, with you not getting your your mail because, uh, uh, like a situation where I have on my mailing list or Yahoo. But then you also have them tracking, creating databases, and tracking you. Uh, so I recommend that people who are concerned about their privacy and concerned about their liberty and freedom in this country, I recommend you don't use these services. Of course, I use YouTube. You can't really avoid it. And, uh, YouTube is by Google. Uh, YouTube does. I've had them uh, censor uh, my videos. Uh, and uh, what's going on right now, they're moving to censor the Internet, and they're doing this by steps, just like they're moving to gun control in this country. But they're not just passing a law, just making guns illegal. They do it by increments. As a matter of fact, they have actually stated that that is their goal, to, to subtly do this by increments, just a little bit at a time. So every time, every little legislation uh, they push through in order to, say, make it more difficult, make the waiting, make waiting period longer, uh, saying we can't have uh, this type of person can't buy guns, you know, you can't buy magazines uh, with more than this many rounds in it, or you can't buy more than this many guns within a certain time period. All of these are just little increments that they're working toward. Their, eventually, their eventual goal is to get to complete control of the guns. They're also working complete to completely control the Internet. So they're working by increments. And one of the techniques they use, and I'm sure that you have uh, run into this at some point, is uh, a technique called marginalization. All right, marginalization is where they take you and push you out of the mainstream, and they push you over to the margin where hopefully nobody will see you. If you want to see an example of marginalization, <clears throat> look at what the media does to Ron Paul. He wins all these polls. He comes in first place in all these polls. And what do they do? They just don't report that poll. All right, and uh, and everybody uh, everybody is, is aware of, of uh, the marginalization that Ron Paul has received in the media. So they're just trying to. He's a mainstream candidate. Uh, and they're just trying, the media is trying to push him off to the edge so nobody will notice him. And that's, just, that's the way that they are um, uh, censoring the internet at this po point to a large extent is uh, when, when I put a YouTube video up, if it's, up, if it's a topic that the government doesn't like, so whenever I put a video up um, on, that's anti-war at all, if I come out with any kind of video that criticizes the wars uh, in the Middle East, uh, YouTube will marginalize that video. One thing they'll do is they won't allow me to promote that video. All right, which means again they push it off to the side to marginalize it. They, they're, anything that they can do to prevent a, a the video from becoming viral. And there also have been cases where people have discovered where YouTube has, I say, a video has become very popular. It's gotten like a million hits. And of course, when you put in a search. The search gives preference to those videos that have the most hits because they figure those are the best videos. Our YouTubers repeatedly just manipulated those numbers. I've had them do that to uh, my videos. Well, it's all of a sudden just knock all the numbers back down to zero. And I've had a video when the Osama bin Laden hoax came out that uh, they said they killed Osama bin Laden. Of course, Osama bin Laden was killed back in 2001. But when they came out with this recent hoax, I made a video on it. That video went viral. And then the very next day, it was just knocked right back down to zero. All right, so marginalization is one of the techniques they use. Um, with Gmail, when you send, uh, and I've had this happen to me, when you send a, uh, a message to a Gmail address, if it uh, has a keyword in it, and this doesn't seem to happen all the time, but it does happen, I've had it happen, 
Um, say one of the key words I've noticed in there is anything that is anti-Obama. I sent out an email that was critical of Obama. And guess what? The email never got there. So they are actually, not only are they scanning for keywords, but they are actually uh, blocking some emails. All right, my Twitter account, I know that they are blocking my Twitter account. I have a lot of anti-New uh, World Order, a lot of anti-corrupt government. I am not anti-government. Um, in, in this country, the government is we the people. What I am anti is I'm anti-corrupt government or the, the, uh, the, the outside interests who have taken over our government. I love our country, my country, I think this is the best country to live in. I am a patriot, but uh, being a patriot doesn't mean that you are loyal to a corrupt government. As a matter of fact, what happens when a, when a government is taken over by a foreign power, what a point patriot would do is fight that government. And a lot of people think that, well, you know, if you're patriotic, you're going to support your government no, no matter what. No, that's not the way. That's not, that's not being patriotic. Anyway, getting back to Twitter, I know that they are dropping people from my Twitter account. Whenever someone subscribes to my Twitter account, I receive an email saying, so-and-so subscribe to your t Twitter account. I get several of those every single day. And it's amazing that my subscribers never increase, even though uh, I, I know that you can lose subscribers, I know that people can unsubscribe, but there are no way that people are unsubscribing at the rate that they are subscribing. I get two or three people who are subscribing every single day, and I check the numbers on my Twitter account. Uh, generally, it stays at about 260. It has been at 260 for like two years. All right, now when I appeared on television on the Learning Channel, it went up to about 288. All right, and but then from there, 288, it started going back down again. So presently, it's about 280, but for two years, it stayed at 260. I mean, almost exactly 260. I'd have three people subscribe, and it would go up to 263, and then within the next day or so, it would drop back down to 260 again. Even though every single day people are subscribing, and I have no way to prove this, of course, because it doesn't tell me when people unsubscribe, but I know that there is no way with the number of subscriptions I'm getting to my Twitter account, I know that there's no way that I'm having as many people unsubscribe unsus um, as I have subscribed. And I have several people subscribe every single day, and it should be growing, but it's not. Again, that's marginalization. They're pushing my message off to the margin, hopefully so no one will notice it. And on the topic of Twitter, if you have signed up to receive my Twitter feeds in the past, and if you're not getting them, then there's a possibility that you were one of the people who were dropped from my list. All right, so if you're not getting my twi twi Twitter feeds and you'd like to, please go to Twitter and subscribe. My Twitter account is Obamaphobia. So go to twitter.com slash Obamaphobia and click on subscribe. And then if you subscribe and then you are dropped from the list, please let me know because I'd like to kind of try to keep track of this. But anyway, getting back to the topic of this video, web censorship is real. They want full censorship, just like they want full gun control. But they can't come out. We do have a, a Bill of Rights in this country, and even though they ignore it, they have to pretend like they are, are not ignoring it and have to work around it. So just as they're trying to get rid of our guns by little increments, they're, they are doing the same thing with the, with the internet. They're moving toward total censorship of the internet, but until they get there, they're doing all these little things, particularly marginalization, that's the big one. All right, so that's the reason I started my mailing list because uh, if they um, remove my YouTube videos, or if they remove my blog, or they drop people from my Twitter account, at least I will have your email address so that I can stay in touch with you. And now, as I mentioned, I'm having trouble with that because of policies like Gmail and Yahoo. And I, I think that if, if you're a patriot or survivalist, a prepper, 
and you have a Gmail account, I think you're making a huge mistake. There are a lot of other free services out there. Uh, check it. I would use Gmail is the last one in the world I'd use. And the next to last one I'd use is Yahoo. They're almost as bad. And there are other bad ones too. Don't think the, that those are the only ones. All right. Um, check out hushmail.com. I'm not affiliated with the company. I don't make anything. I'm just I'm just doing this, saying this to protect your privacy. Um, don't use Google searches. Why use a Google search when you can use startpage.com? Um, which is just as good, it's just as fast, it doesn't slow down the searches at all, but when you use startpage.com, they, they can't collect any information from you. Use startpage.com, use hushmail.com or some other service, and let's try to um, uh, put an end to, or let's, let's at least fight this um, web censorship. Remember, we're all in this together. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.